Here. Melissa Hunt. Here. Terry Kavner. Here. David Roberts. Here. Mark Ham. Here. Glenn Lewis. Here. Would you uh, please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At, there, at this time, there's a presentation of Oklahoma Municipal League service pins and certificates uh, to Dan Sutherland, uh, Daryl Shaw, Richard Sandifer, uh, John White, Eric Day, Carrie Lunsford, Greg Herbster, Kevin Kidd, and Jeff Lindsay. Mayor, as you all uh, uh, probably recall, each year at this time we come to you with this. Uh, the OML uh, recognizes um, municipal employees across the state who have served in their communities for 25 years. So each time that the um, OML certificates are given, it's for uh, employees who have uh, been here with us for 25 years. And we have um, a couple of three of these employees that are here this evening, but just to uh, tell you a little bit about them, Daniel Sutherland and Daryl Shaw are both um, sanitation operators who have been with us for, again, for 25 years, long, long time, uh, have done a great job for us. Uh, Richard Sandifer, you know, public works director. John White is a police officer um, in the police department. Uh, Eric Day um, is a firefighter and Carrie Lunsford works uh, in risk management. And uh, Greg Herbster, Kevin Kidd, and Jeff Lindsay are all uh, firefighters. And, and Richard and uh, Kevin and Greg are all here this evening. If you uh, guys wouldn't mind coming up um, here, we would uh, appreciate it. Um, we have, uh, obviously, we have a lot of employees who are uh, outstanding employees. We have many, many employees. These employees included, but others who have been with us for many years. I, I consider it a, a really good thing whenever we have long, long-term employees uh, who dedicate their lives and their careers uh, to us. And it's a privilege for me to be working with them. And I think they uh, deserve a round of applause. They provide great service to our community. Richard, Public Works Director. Appreciate Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Greg Herbsters, our Deputy Fire Chief, um, does an awesome job for us. Appreciate you. And Kevin Kidd. Kevin's a major on the fire department. I hope that's right. I think that's right. That's correct. Kevin has that's done a great much. job for us. He was also one of the folks that served on the Ambulance Review Committee that we um, had uh, a couple of three months ago. So thank you all. We'll see you in another 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Item two is a consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular city council meeting held November 16, 2015. Item B is receive the minutes of the regular planning commission meeting held October 13, 2015. Item C is approve the issuance of a $50 Christmas stipend to the employees per council resolution. Item D approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2015-2016 in the amount of $3,177,381.41. Mr. Approve. Right. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other any discussion uh, or any uh, Issues with the claims. If not, you call for vote, please. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Terry Kavner? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krause? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number three is consider adopting resolution number 83415, calling for and setting the dates for the municipal elections for the year 2016 
as provided in the city charter spe specifying the officers to be elected, providing for qualifications of candidates, <coughs> designating which offices shall be filled by ward, providing for nonpartisan election, providing for resi residency requirements, directing that a copy of said resolution be forwarded to the Secretary of the Cleveland County Election Board as required by state law, and providing that a copy of the resolution be published in the newspaper of general circulation in the city. Mayor, this uh, is uh, comes up every now and again. As you all know, this is the resolution to call the next uh, election for the uh, seats on the council that will be coming up for election or re-election. Um, it's a little different than what we've done in the past. Some state laws and the state statutes have changed a little bit with regard to the dates of these elections um, and the filing period, um, but the the resolution calls for the filing period to be December 28th, 29th, and 30th of this year, 2015. Um, the election or primary election will be held on February 9th, 2016. And then a general election if needed, or a runoff election if you will, but a general election if needed on April the 5th, 2016. Make a motion to approve. Say all right, thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Please call for the vote if there's no other discussion. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Carrie Kavner? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krauss? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number four is considered rezoning application number RZ-931 located in the southwest quarter of section 15, township 10 north, range 3 west, being north the Southwest 4th Street and east of East, or excuse me, east of Santa Fe Avenue from R2 uh, Two Family Dwelling District to C3 General Commercial District and approve ordinance number 80415, application by 1005 LLC, uh, Amar, uh, excuse me, Farzani, uh, Planning Commission recommend approval of this item 80. This is in Ward 3. Mayor and Council, uh, this property consists of approximately 1.5 acres. It is located north of Southwest uh, 4th Street, just east of Santa Fe Avenue. The property was previously used as a school building. However, the applicant is proposing to renovate the building into an office building with a medical clinic. Uh, the public water and sewer are available to serve the site. Access is from Southwest 4th Street. Uh, there is no floodplain located on the property. The comprehensive plan calls for this location to be medium commercial and because the C3 uses are con considered to be medium commercial in nature, a comprehensive plan amendment is not required. Uh, due to the similar existing land uses in the area and compliance with the comprehensive plan, staff recommends approval of this application. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote? There's no other discussion on this issue. Carrie Kavner? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krause? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number five is consider approval of a lot split located in the southwest, uh, set, excuse me, south quarter, southwest quarter of section 13, township 10 north, Range 3 West being east of Eastern Avenue and south of Main Street. Application by Eastmore Holdings. Uh, Mayor and Council, this property is located on Southeastern Avenue. It is just south of Main Street. Uh, the applicant is proposing to split the property into two lots. The west lot, which fronts Eastern Avenue, uh, would, is proposed uses for McDonald's. The east lot, which is behind that, um, is being held for future development. Uh, there is access to public water and sewer along Eastern Avenue, and the lot split does meet all of the zoning requirements. Uh, staff recommends approval of this application. Okay. Will there be any issues with the uh, drainage? I know that that was when the, the church was built, the neighbors were upset about water and drainage. <coughs> we were seeing problems. We, we do not. Uh, the McDonald's site in particular is anticipated drain fully onto Eastern Avenue, sure. which has the storm sewer to handle that. Say, uh, uh, move to approve. All right. Thank okay. you. Hey, where was it going to be? Where was it going to be in relation to the uh, driveway? 
uh, that they use to get into the uh, health, the health uh, department? Uh, there is one existing driveway that is on the south side of this lot. Okay, so we have the, okay, gotcha, okay. Uh, and it's they about will, where that ball field is. No, okay, right I gotcha. Right yes. okay. exactly where it is. But they are proposing two additional curb cuts onto Eastern with one curb cut to that access drive. Gotcha, okay, thank you. We're not that many eating places on the east side, so that's good. And it should help the high school over there, especially when, yeah, we, have, that's what I was especially when we have all these trains <laughs> around uh, here. So don't go by there around noonish uh, in the yeah. Yeah. school. <laughs> yes. yeah. So I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. So, anybody else? We got a motion and a second. Elizabeth, when, how long would they take to try and get things started? They have already turned in their building permit application, okay. uh, so I think they're planning on getting started immediately. Okay. Do you think they something like that would be open next by next school year? Do they operate that quick? Uh, in yes. 2016, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll call for the vote, please. David Roberts. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Robert Krause. Yes. Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Carrie Kavner. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. Item number six is consider approval of FY 2014-2015 consolidated annual performance and evaluation report. <coughs> And consider adoption of resolution number 83515 submitting said report to the u.s department of housing and urban development and this is from capital planning and resiliency mayor and council this is the end of year report for our community development uh, block grant funds each year we report the accomplishments of the, of the normal entitlement program that we have that goes and assists low mod or low to moderately low residents in the community. Uh, the funds are used for public improvements, administrative services, and public services. This year we spent approximately um, $520,000 on sewer improvements in Southgate, um, a new park equipment at Kiwanis Park, um, the new police themed as most of you know. Um, public services were aging services. We assisted uh, for 11, um, 11 seniors for, that were homebound um, meals for a year. Uh, more youth and family uh, did school-based counseling services for 83 children and community-based counseling for 96 children. Bethesda counseling services uh, was 98 children and success by six reading program 20, 20 children and we also promote and assist our residents in fair housing which we assisted 31 this past year in total we assisted 3,774 low to moderate low uh, community members and with that I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have Motion that we approve. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Okay. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other comments or questions? Not okay, but. Mark Ham. Yes. Robert Krause. Yes. Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Carrie Kavner. Yes. David Roberts. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. Thank you, Thanks, sir. Item number seven is consider approval of supplement. Or uh, supplement number two to the engineering services contract with EST Incorporated for design in the 34th Street I-35 Ridge project. Mayor, this is the final contract that we'll see on this project. And this is the biggest part of the contract, which will be the final engineering design, all of the rest of the work necessary to the engineering design work to get this to the point of being left for construction. Uh, as you may recall, we did a uh, you approved a, an initial contract and then a supplement number one contract and a supplement number two contract. So the one you're looking at tonight, the total amount of it is $754,700. The previous two contracts combined were a little over 230000 So just about a million dollars, uh, which is not unexpected for a project uh, like this, a very large project. And that. We meet uh, every other week with uh, the engineers on this regularly to 
discuss it in progress and any issues with ODOT, this, that, and the other, and everything's moving pretty smoothly still for a projected letting sometimes in 2017. Okay. I just, just briefly, I just kind of read through the report and uh, noticed that the report indicated that there was an underground diesel or an underground diesel container, maybe a belt diesel or some kind of uh, uh, substance, and they're going to do some testing to ensure that, or see if it's leaked or not. And just want to make sure that uh, if there is contamination of the city, is the city liable for that, or how will that work out? They don't know for sure yet for that it's there. They believe it's there. So they're going to do some work to see if it's there. If it's there, uh, they'll do some additional testing. There will be a phase two environmental study done, which is the soil testing and that sort of thing to see if there's anything that has leaked. If there are some issues with that, then depending on how ODOT wants us to handle that will really be how we have to handle it. Um, generally, it's the property owner's responsibility to do that but with this being a piece of right-of-way that's necessary for a roadway construction project it may very well that be that we agree to do it but it, there would be a reduction in the valuation through the appraisal process uh, for that okay. is what they tell me is that generally it happens if we're buying this just for a park or something we would require that it be cleaned up by the property owner it's the property owner's responsibility under law to do it but again, with it being a piece of right of way, there's a little bit different rules uh, as we go along. But in any event, it'll either be through a reduction in the valuation of the property uh, or the owner would have to remediate. Okay, great. Thank you. That's all I have. It's on that, uh, we're talking about it's on that uh, uh, piece of property where the trucking company or the truck sales business is there now on the southwest corner of the highway in 34th. Okay. Do we have a motion? I make a motion to approve. Okay. We have a second. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, would you call for the vote? Robert Krause? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Terry Kavner? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. At this time, we'll recess the city council meeting and convene the more public works. Oh, excuse me. We have a, a an addendum, item 7.1. Sorry about that. Item 7.1 is consider adoption of resolution number 83615, pertaining to the general obligation bonds of 2016, approved by a majority of the qualified voters at an election held on November 6, 2012, fixing the amount of bonds to mature each year fixing the time and place of the bonds uh, are to be sold and authorizing the clerk to give notice of said sale as required by law. Mayor uh, Chris Gander with BOSC is here uh, to present this to you this evening and Terry Hopkins is here as well our bond council if you have any questions. Uh, we're here tonight to set the date, time and place for your next bond election uh, as Mr. Edie said. Chris Gander with your financial advisor, and Terry Hawkins, your bond counsel. Uh, as a quick reminder, you have two authorizations uh, outstanding right now. The first is $25,100,000 from a November 6, 2012 election, which was for the parks. And you have the second authorization, which was for $15 million from November 4, 2014, for the 34th Street Bridge project that you just spoke about. Uh, the authorization tonight is for $2,805,000, and that is uh, from the park selection and will be used to make the lease purchase payments. Uh, we'll be back on January 19th with bids in hand, uh, and we'll award it at that time. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Just to be clear to the voters, this is bonds that's already been approved by the voters. Yes, sir. And we're selling those bonds. That is correct. Just want to make that clear. Yes. They were authorized in 2012, okay. and we've been issuing them in, in increments to keep taxes as low as we could. Right. That's what we want. That's what I figured. So I'd add that to the, <laughs> add that to the record. This is the, the this is the fourth issuance out of that 25 million. There will be one more uh, in 2017. Two point something million. Two point seven seven. For that one, which will be the final one for the parks uh, election in 2020. 
and make a motion to approve. All right. Thank you. Second. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, sir. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, would you call for the vote? Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Terry Kavner? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krause? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. At this time, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. At this time, we have uh, recessed the city council meeting and convene the more public works authority meeting. And let the record reflect all the members that were present before are still present, with the exception of Councilman Roberts. Okay, item A is a consent docket. Item A, receive and approve the minutes of the regular more public works authority meeting held November 16, 2015. Item B, approve the issuance of a $50 Christmas stipend to employees for council resolution. <coughs> Item C, approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2015-2016 in the amount of $1,101,728.40. Moved approved. Okay, thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Uh, it's a consent docket. There is no discussion. Would you call for the vote? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Terry Kavner? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krauss? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes, item carries. At this time, we will recess the more public works authority meeting and convene the more risk management meeting. Item nine is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular more risk management meeting held November 16, 2015. Item B, approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2015-2016 in the amount of $340,640.79. Moved approved. Second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Terry Kavner? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Krause? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. At this time, we will recess the more risk management meeting and reconvene the city council meeting. Item 10 is new business. Item A is citizens for uh, citizens forum for items not on the agenda. I don't have anyone signed up. Would anyone like to speak? Okay, item B is items from the city council or trustees. I've noticed the uh, markings, street markings, uh, one along on our roadways. Uh, looks good. I'd like to, to see the rails finally to make that happen. It takes a while, but uh, it's needed. So, you know, the city looks great with all the Christmas stuff on it. It does, for sure. Anybody else? Any items from the city manager, trust manager? Just mentioned a couple, Mayor. One is that we began picking up the uh, tree limbs from the ice storm today. We don't have a significant problem with that, but there is some out there. We are only going to make one pass through the community, and everybody needs to have it out by this the end before this the end of this week. We're only going to again. We're only going to come through one time um, through the community, so um, we are getting some help from uh, two of our uh, county commissioners too, which uh, we very much appreciate uh, that to uh, them. Uh, our street crews have also started uh, work today, moved in today into Plaza Towers Edition to begin street reconstruction from the storm from two and a half years ago or so, uh, finally using the HUD funds. So we're, it's a red letter day to get started. Uh, in there and we had a little neighborhood meeting uh, at the school with uh, some of the plaza towers uh, folks and we had what stand close to 50 uh, 43. folks there um, right. and they were 100% uh, happy that we were going to be in there and uh, starting to work on the streets over there uh, so that that's a good day um, just wanted to also mention uh, a little bit along with mark uh, the Old Town Christmas event and the Christmas uh, um, uh, Old Town had uh, on Saturday. Um, I understand very successful. We had quite a few folks down for the Christmas tree lighting uh, Saturday evening and, and that went very well except we had a little operator problem uh, on the uh, button back there with the tree but uh, we'll figure that one out. Uh, Deidre. Um, and, um, also just wanted to acknowledge uh, Jack Briggs. Jack's been a firefighter uh, for us for 
just about 39 years. Retired uh, recently, and uh, actually there's a little party for him tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. at the Moore High School Commons if you want to stop by. But uh, Jack was an assistant chief uh, for many years and served uh, uh, with a distinction for just almost 39 years uh, with this community. So my hat's off to him. Okay. Item 11 is adjourned. So moved. Yes. Yeah, second pass. <laughs> Just call for the vote, please. There's no discussion. Mark Chan? Yes. Robert Powell? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Carrie Kavner? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. We're adjourned.